Well, my name is Lucy Serafi and I'm the owner of The Urban Botanist. We're a family business, so I've set the business up myself um, with my two brothers. We are very much, we work hard, we play hard, we try to form really strong bonds and relationships with all of our third party suppliers mm -hmm. and we try to make sure that our personalities come across through the products, all our marketing material. I think our Skyline range is particularly popular. You see the Skyline Globe here, we've got three sizes of this item actually. This is our largest. Um, globe. We also have a mini globe which is slightly smaller and then we also do the baubles as well. And the Skyline range seem really popular because they're quite pretty. We've got more ornamental features, quite feminine. They sell really well as a gift. So what I'm going to do here is show you just how to briefly make up the Skyline globe. Okay, well first of all, have the um, glassware straight in front of you. Again, important thing, not to be frightened of any of the features. Everything is very strong and robust and it's about enjoying actually making something that is unique to you. So first of all, gently take the gravel and pour into the base of the terrarium. Okay. Use all the gravel. An important one for the hanging terrariums is to pick it up and actually give it a quick shake and get the gravel nicely evenly distributed in the base of the vessel. And then literally hold from above from the rope just to check that the item isn't spinning too much and that it is actually then going to set once completed. That one's spinning a little bit, so we'll just give it a quick adjust. And there we go, that's, that's better. Place it back down on the flat surface. And the way we recommend making the terrarium is actually building a story from the back, so having a little bit of height at the back and building round the sides slightly lower and then obviously the plant in the middle. So the first feature for the Skyline Globe is the preserved reindeer moss. Now this is actually preserved, it's not alive and it doesn't need any care. It's lovely and spongy, a nice texture. So for this, split into three pieces, one of which is slightly bigger and then two slightly smaller pieces and as I said starting from the back if we take the large piece of the reindeer moss and just gently push it down very lightly into the gravel at the back of the vessel like so and then you can see there's two nice clear spots there at this side each side to be able to put the slightly smaller pieces you can see it's just building a story is you know completely unique to you there is no need to be frightened about being quite strong and robust with the way you handle all the ornamental items and then for this one what we do is we take three Scottish pebbles and actually place them just in front of the reindeer moss and just with the larger one at the back push it down nicely. You can actually use the pebble if you like to actually push the moss down into the gravel to secure it, but you don't have to, that's totally up to you. Okay. So you can see there, you've now got a very clear backdrop for the rest of the terrarium once the plant goes in. And what we do for the Skyline range, it's just a little feature that we've added, is to actually have, we've got some nice little glass chippings that we just literally sprinkle at the entrance of the terrarium so then when the item is hanging it catches the light and just gives a little bit of glamour. Just There we go. Okay. And then finally taking the unique air plant in this case. So this is a multi-flora air plant. As you can see there's no root system whatsoever. These are actually from Guatemala and South America. Very strong, very robust, and they're actually desert plants, so they absorb all of their nutrients from the air. You simply place that on top of all those ornamental features, and there you have your finished skyline globe. This is a particularly nice item for bathrooms, and the plants do very well in bathrooms because of the natural moisture in the air from the steam, etc. There you are, Skyline Glow. The main focus of all our designs is on the fact that the product is very easy.
easy to look after. We've chosen all of our plants for both the way they look, in terms of wanting a contemporary striking look to the plant, but also plant types that are very hardy and actually require minimal maintenance. So if we take the skyline globe here and look at our air plant, for example, and each terrarium does come with our own little botanist guide as to how to care for both the air plants but also the succulents as well. So the air plant itself, as you can see, has no root system whatsoever. It absorbs all its nutrients and moisture from the atmosphere and is effectively a desert plant so requires absolute minimum water. Um, what we tend to advise is that about every two to three weeks you take the plant out of the glassware and actually submerge it in a cup of water for about 30 minutes and then an important factor is to make sure you shake it dry before you place it back into the terrarium. The main reason we say to take it out of the terrarium is to ensure that you don't actually get watermarks on the glassware because it will detract from the look of the product. But the main other thing is, is to make sure you shake excess water because the one way you will actually kill these plants is to overwater them. So our, our main advice and top tip is to really underwater and, and that's how you can ensure that your rare plant survives you know, for a very long time, should be months. As I've just explained, in terms of the care for the plants, there really shouldn't be um, a, a, an issue with the plants actually dying. Should you be unfortunate enough for that to happen, we are actually quite excited to announce that we are going to be launching a range of plants to purchase on their own so you then get much more of your own preference in terms of the individual plants. There will be succulents, there will be air plants and we're also going to add some baby orchids and some more interesting brightly coloured ranges as well. We've done quite a bit of research talking to our customers and we get a lot of repeat customers um, buying from us. They are very popular for gifts for the home and within the home I mentioned earlier the Skyline range do particularly well and look very nice in bathrooms. Um, conservatories are a great option and um, the plants love the warm environment given the fact that they're, you know, they, they originate in very hot climate desert um, type environments. They look lovely on a mantelpiece on a windowsill and our bauble range look really beautiful hanging from the window as well from the window catch. Outside the home the Aztec ones look very nice and effective on an office desk more masculine environment. They also look very nice on reception desks, so particularly the super size range, whether that's in hotels, offices, various commercial premises. They also work really well as centrepieces, whether that's for an event that we can personalise as well for you in terms of the, the plants that go inside. We can um, then supply smaller terrariums for a little giveaway, so whether that's a little baby terrarium for a, a wedding favour, for instance, something like that. And we're happy to work with people on an individual project by project, event by event, or wedding. 